Uh, grand rising, grand rising. It's still early. Remember I told y'all I was going to show y'all that tree that tripped me out this morning? So I'm going to take y'all to it. But I just want to address something first. First of all, I've been influenced by a lot of cultures. You know what I'm saying? So today, uh, peace and blessing go to uh, my big brother Ace, Jamaican Queens, and uh, Bounty, Brooklyn Bounty. You know, both New York. So today I'm on New York shit. You know, <clears throat> nigga representing. Nigga representing on the New York drip. <clears throat> so, uh, the concept uh, that I want to talk about and bring to mind. First of all, uh, this tree, I ain't never seen no tree like this. This morning I went on to it and meditate and it's just the energy, but just what the tree got on is just totally different, you know? So I want to share that when I retract my mind and come back to what I was thinking about. So welcome to my building. I own the corners and the cuts in this motherfucker. Made niggas so they know what's in this motherfucker. Yo. This the motherfucker though. This morning. This jump. It's unique. It got a little bit of my attention, but this the motherfucker right here. That bitch two tone. That bitch camouflage, like. But you see how God dresses one of these trees? This shit crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I was tripping. But not just only the the color. And the pines and shit. Watch uh, when we spin the bin and go under this bitch. Look at how this shit is, man. Like, this motherfucker got, like, all type of, like, an octopus tree. That's what I was thinking about. All those different antennas, like the dreadlock, right? Yeah, it's motherfucking cool as shit. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, I was tweaking off this junk. Out here in nature. I love y'all too. The motherfucker fly by they hollering. Yeah man. Life is good. Life is great. Can't complain. Everything is straight. Yeah, I just wanna share that junk with y'all though, man. Your reality is going to be what you perceive it to be, you know, so don't stress. You got to see the glass half full. You can't look at it half empty. You know, if you look at it half empty, that's what you're going to have. You're going to have a half empty glass. So your reality is what you, what you think it is, man. Man is matter. Man is mine. Just put your mind on good things and fantasize about the things you're going to do and watch how the universe bring it to you. The subconscious don't know the difference between reality and imagination. That's why in the Bible it says in order for you to inherit the kingdom of God, you must go back and conform your ways in that of a child. When we grow up and so-called become adults, 
we lose our imagination. We go everything with uh, reality, what uh, society say what's possible and what's not possible. You know what I'm saying? Logic, society say you have to work to survive. You have to work hard to survive. So we take that concept and we're going to go through life working. All these motherfuckers work all day, get a pension, don't even have shit. Get thrown in a retirement home where somebody beat their ass. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Or you have kids and you take it to a daycare and let somebody else take care of the kids and beat their ass. So what are you really working for? You know? But if you know that uh, that being part of life is uh, being part of one, a union, is uh, the earth making sure it's better for the the next generation because we are the next generation. Man, whatever it's going to be, so fantasize. Like I say, see yourself in the clothes you want. Ain't got to be these shit that these motherfuckers come up with. Y'all come up with your own shit. You know what I'm saying? Make your own music, all that shit. Right now, this is a season of miracles. You feel what I'm saying? This uh, season of the impossible. The impossible is possible. You just have to believe it, you know? It says, uh, in the beginning, God spoke and said, let there be light. And he seen the light and light was good. Well, if the same God made us in the image, then we have... Uh, the same power capability to speak things into existence but our magic don't come with the verbal it comes with the thought they say if you see a woman and you think oh damn i would like to have sex with her you already done it because you're that powerful that's how powerful the thought is that's why that parable come from you you feel what i'm saying you don't have to physically commit an act once you think it is done because you're that powerful it's going to be done in a rim previous to this one or a rim after this one. It's just that thought process going to a bubble and enough people think those deeds then it's actually gonna manifest. So man, King and Goddess, man, just understand this is a return to the Titan. There's a promise. After four hundred years because of my servant Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and David, I will remember a chosen regiment and everything that was taken from him I will give him back in double portion. We are the chosen regiment. What they took from us is now being given back for us. But they say you have not because you ask not. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking every day, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm doing what the spirit say. Spending time with the spirit. We spend time with our ladies. We spend time with our homies. You know? It said goes in your closet and worship me alone. The universe made the earth, the galaxy, everything in six days, and it took the seven days just to sit down and spend time with mankind. That must, that's how much love the universe had for us. So we had to take that time. If we was made in the universe image, and we have the desire to uh, take separate time and spend time with our loved ones or our significant others, you don't spend time with your lady or uh, with everybody. You find that quiet time and you show her compassion, care, and love. It's the same thing with the universe. Where do you think we got that desire from? We got it from the universe. So take time, spend time with the universe because where your attention goes, your energy flows. Give your energies to the universe. Air, water, fire, earth, and consciousness. The four elements. That's what your hands is. You know what I'm saying? And once you pay attention to it, it's going to pay attention to you. Because if you don't pay attention to it, it's not going to pay attention to you, you know? Life is good. It's the greatest time to be alive. <sighs> Our respect to the God and goddesses. You know what I'm saying? Change your mind. We change our reality. You know what I'm saying? It's for our little ones. Peace and blessings.